Everybody, welcome back to the vlog. In this one, we are going to be completing the entire outdoor kitchen. Concrete countertops, a Dornstone veneer, decorators tying into the steps and a bench. It's gonna be really sick, so make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. All right, so we've framed out our entire kitchen out of pro wood. Uh, that's how we like to do it, build it out of pressure treated lumber. It's a lot easier and it's on top of the deck so it's a lot lighter as well. So what we're gonna do now that we have everything framed out and finished is start forming out for that concrete countertop. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. First off, on top of our frame, we have done half inch hardy backer. So this is going to be our bottom of our countertop. And next, we have just measured down an inch and a half. We're screwing all of these pieces around the outside, that's gonna be the start of our form. You'll see it come together in a second as we start building onto it, so hold on. getting these vertical pieces onto our form and we just ripped these down to two inches. That is going to provide the thickness for our slab. No problem. Be kind of loud. All right, so that's gonna give us our height here and we're screwing this in from the bottom so we can take those screws out when we deform it. And uh, that's critical here. You wanna make sure that wherever you're screwing this thing in that you can access the screws when it's time to take the form off. We have screws in the face here and then we have screws underneath. So this will come off and then this L will come off all as one piece. And now, uh, Tom, what are you doing? Just cutting the bar. It's actually called wire mesh. That's what I called it yesterday and you gave me <laughs> that checks out. Construction site antics, gotta love it. But uh, this is gonna go halfway through our slab. It's only two inches thick, so uh, getting this all set and uh, we'll be ready to pour pretty soon. Yeah. I just, I feel like this has gotta be a thing, but. Every time you pick up a drill, you gotta do that, right? Just filling all of our voids with uh, some silicone. Went around all the edges so that uh, all the edges, hopefully when we deform this, are nice and uniform. We're still probably gonna like sand it, buff it, you know, grind it, finish it a little bit. We don't want any concrete falling through here, so that's why I'm siliconing any of the, any of the gaps. And we're almost good. We're almost ready to pour, baby. We got it all formed up. The cracks are full of silicone. <laughs> Can you stop with that? With 
the squeaky with the squeaky nozzle? Squeaky nozzle gets the. Sweaters. That's what they used to call you in high school, isn't it? <laughs> doesn't even make sense. Doesn't have to. High school, baby. <laughs> Same size. Yeah. Oh man. man. What the hell? Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. Keep it spinning. I did not do that. I didn't touch it. <laughs> oh, really? That's not a good sign. Sean, the breaker tripped. Did it really? Ah. We got concrete hardening up. Ah, breaker tripped. S stressful. Stressful. You're right. You don't get anything. Mother f Hey, can you grab the... Uh, I know, it's okay. You did a great job with your problem solving, it's okay. Well, we'll see if this isn't completely Concrete is so stressful. It's only get one shot. Don't miss your chance to pour. And don't trip the breakers. How's it, how's it gonna be good for like three hours and then it's like, oh, you're almost done. Let's just only go for like one second and then keep tripping. We got the generator out here. <laughs> Everybody kept their composure. Nobody was freaking out at all. And now we're moving along. We got a big problem on our hands. Concrete did not cure properly. I think it was too hot and it cured too fast and uh, led to some shrinkage. Shrinkage is never good, especially with concrete. And we have some cracks here that have developed. And uh, it's unfortunate our first concrete countertop uh, did not go as planned. So tried a couple things yesterday, tried to grind it out. Some of the cracks were, were very superficial. It was just the very top layer and they came out. But as you can see, some of these are a little bit more substantial. Doesn't look great, we can't keep it like this. What we're gonna do is do a porcelain overlay on this and uh, we'll show you a little bit more on that in a little bit. We need, <laughs> we need a little bit of a mental break from this countertop fiasco. So let's check out the front the front steps and bench are starting to come together. Yeah. All right, we've got our bench going in. We poured a slab down here as uh, just, a, just a tiny little footing for the front side of this bench. And the cool thing about this is all gonna kind of line up. We have this elevation, our third step is gonna be the seat, so it's gonna be 18 inches tall. We were in between doing 12 or 18, uh, but this family's pretty tall, so we went with 18. Then we're also gonna have, at the elevation of this fourth riser, a little bit of an armrest. You can see how deep this seat is, doesn't need to be that deep, so we're gonna build a little sort of backrest, sort of armrest, you can put a drink there, a plate, whatever, but uh, it's gonna look really sick with this all tying together and uh, I'm super excited to see it. So Tom got a little bit of flack on the last uh, vlog, but uh, I think he might be a little, he might be a little sensitive <laughs> about it. He's hurting inside. He's hurting inside, but uh, in reality, Tom's a great worker. He is keeping <laughs> us organized. He keeps us on track, always making sure we got materials that we need. He's doing a great job, but he's all right.
and then we'll, I guess. Wow. Should I just do like a two by four? Yeah, come proud. Probably like a two by four. We'll want the stone to die on top of whatever comes out here. So, figure we want to come out like at least four inches. I guess mm. either way. Yeah. Are you frozen? Can I build this tread? This one? Or do I gotta wait? Uh, yes, you can build it. Cause okay. we'll butt, we'll butt our piece into it. Okay. That, I'm set up to do six and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So I, These three are all gonna yeah, we'll, we'll die into it. After that starts getting built. Yeah. yeah. All right. But I, as long as I know I can build that tread. Yeah. I'm gonna start the reassembly. Perfect. Sounds great. It's gonna be nice with a little little backrest on here. I think that's gonna be nice. All right, uh, we want to get we want to get our first row of uh, uh, the house wrap. All right, that just sounds like a job for Catherine, right? Yeah, I think so. Typical Tom attitude. <laughs> So this is what happens when you're the low man on the totem pole um, and you don't know what you're doing. You let somebody else do all the work and you go around and put the plugs in. It's a very fine job, somewhat <laughs> important. And you just need the skills from the neck down. Harley don't need to think. You just put them in the hole. Take this thing, whatever this is. Make the hole, make the hole disappear. And I think I got about 350 more to go. So I'm just going to sit here in the sun, let it just bask on me, and just keep doing this while everybody else is working. And I can just be left alone. Do a fine job there, Ant. Thanks, John. You got it. So we're working on this bar here. What we got is we got a nice little bar. And we've just, out of? It's, it's, well, first off, it's custom. It's a custom bar. Uh, we've built... Out of treated, we got the pro wood, uh, just little box frames, and then we got the decorator's costa. Set up a jig on the miter saw, cut them down to 15 inches, and that's very important for this so that we can keep it very nice and uniform and clean. And what I like to do is uh, pre drill, start my screws, get them all set up here. So, so it's kind of like what Ant's doing, you don't got to think about it too much, like a, and that just means there's more plugs to put in. So, I'm gonna be busy all day long. You're welcome. That's it. Easy as that. Shouldn't have put these in sideways. <laughs> you definitely did. I don't think so. One thing that we like to do, this is gonna be applicable to privacy walls or something like this, is we've got a half inch gap here. We've got a half inch gap on these boards. It's very short depth here. So uh, and we don't wanna be able to see straight through it. So we'll do this on privacy walls a lot and something like this. We've started with a full board on one side. The other side, we'll start with a half board so that we're gonna stagger this gap and then it's gonna be completely solid. Check out the one over there. You'll be able to see. Well, you won't be able to see the gaps. It'll look solid. Check it. All right, we have all the railings going up now, uh, finishing our last couple sections. This is the Decorator's ALX cable railing, and one of the new things that they've done with this, which I think really sets it off. We've got the color match spacers. Before these used to be a, uh, I believe an anodized aluminum spacer. Now they match whatever color rail sections you get. 
So I think it just ties everything together beautifully. Small detail, but I'm super happy about it. So now we're going around here. Tom, how you making out on this? Oh, great, just great. Awesome. Yep. Last couple sections going up, and uh, we're gonna wrap around here, and then we got some stairs, but uh, it's coming together. And everybody. Like every, what are you? What is this? I don't know why he's pulling me from this work right now. And everybody, and even Catherine. There's got to be some sort of announcement. Jose, come here. <laughs> what happened? All right, I'm gonna be gone the next two days. Ah, oh, this chat. <laughs> Can I get back to work? I'm going down down the beach now. We got a couple of objectives while I'm gone here. Uh, finish up all of the uh, stair trim, bench trim. You're working on that right now, yep. so you might have a couple things tomorrow on that possibly. Uh, wrapping this beam, yep. getting that all ready. Finishing up all the railings, yep. stair railings included. Yep. Uh, cocktail rail. And uh, Jose, tomorrow I'm gonna have you jump on uh, the machine, get our patio up to up to grade with the three quarter stone so that cocktail next week- going down the stairs? No. Okay. So that we can, we can jump on the patio early next week, so. Uh, plan next week is to be on the kitchen, doing the adorn stone, uh, doing the zip up yep. system and landscape pavers, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Sound good? Sounds like a great plan. I think that's enough for two days. Yeah. Perfect. You want to have breakfast on Sunday? Huh? Yeah. With me? How's your home days? It goes Sunday. on for days and days. See ya. Sick. <laughs> all right, guys. Back to work. I forgot in the beginning of this intro, we say, we're going to do everything with the kitchen. Door and door. We're not doing that now. We're waiting till next week. Should I just tell the people now? Adornstone's going to be next week. <laughs> so the kitchen's not going to be totally done, but uh, at least we got that concrete countertop finished. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Still looks sick, though. You're going to come back from vacation so refreshed, and it's just going to be a whole new week. It will be a whole new week. Yeah. That's it for this vlog. Be sure to stick around next week because we're gonna be throwing up some adorn stone on this wall behind us. We're gonna be putting up some zip up system on a yeah. second story deck that makes it a little bit of waterproof system. That'll be cool. And you're gonna have to stay tuned. So until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living. <laughs>